All right, so there's different types of radiation, so we'll go through those real quick. Yeah, get rid of one. All right, so we've got high-frequency electromagnetic radiation. That's everything that's wireless, everything that goes through the air. We've got low-frequency electromagnetic fields or magnetic fields, that's the power lines, and we have electric fields associated with the electrical wiring in your house. Okay, so high-frequency radiation is, you know, is on the increase and it only ever gets worse. They're getting more clever in disguising the mobile phone towers because there's a bit of an eyesore. Plus, when the mobile phone towers goes up, the real estate value drops. Right? We're all investing a lot of money in real estate. Somebody decides to put a mobile phone tower on their roof and your savings are not actually that much anymore. All right, so uh, this is in Melbourne. You know, a, um, a light post has been extended on. You see a lot of this in New Zealand as well. Actually, mobile phone tower on the top. Okay, also, you know, a lot of organizations that get a little bit of money for having these towers up. So, you know, you see this sort of thing on churches, you know, love your neighbor. Um, disguising, they're also getting, you know, quite, uh, quite good at. Can we spot it here? Next one. Yeah, it's on the top of the tower, nicely camouflaged in uh, a brick pattern. Uh, also, power companies are teaming up with the telecommunications company. So if the pylons weren't already bad enough, now we also see combinations with the, uh, the mobile phone tower transmitters on the top. In Germany, they've got the uh, disguising of them to a fine art. Uh, I'm sure nobody can pick it here. Click it. There it is, that little chimney-looking shape. This one closer to home. Can we see this one? Yeah, that's in the Gold Coast, palm tree. All right, now we're always looking at those vertical panels, right? And yes, they're not good for us, but what, you, what we really should be looking at is those round things, those drums, the directional transmitters. Mobile phone towers, most of them don't have data connected to them. They only have electricity connected to them. Um, so those round drums are used to send all the data from one tower to the next, right? So we have one tower, let's say, talks to a thousand mobile phones all looking at a video on YouTube. And all those thousand videos needs to go through one of those things to the next one so that data gets moved from one place to the next. To move all that data, they need to use higher frequencies and have more power that damage the finer organs. So it's those higher frequencies that are very important also to you know, protect ourselves against. Okay, so a situation that you get with the directional transmitters is that you could live nowhere near a mobile phone tower but because you're caught between the crossfire of two of these things, you could be exposed to an enormous amount of radiation. It won't show up in your mobile phone because that's got nothing to do with your signal strength. Um, but you're being blasted all the way through. And we see patients like this all the time. We come in and they've already worked it out. They give me a map and I say, this is one tower, this is the other. I'm exactly in the middle and I've got headaches every week. And inevitably, the smart meter, show of hands. How many people have a smart meter already? Not too many, which is lovely. Try and keep that that way. Uh, the problem with the smart meter, the meter box has always been an issue because there's typically magnetic fields around a meter box. Um, it's therefore not a good idea to park a bed or your favorite chair or a baby's cot against any wall that's got the meter box on the other, other side of it. But a smart meter makes it worse by adding a transmitter to the situation. So you have high frequency radiation being added to the mix. Uh, it can be shielded against, but there's other issues with the smart meters. Uh, it's better to avoid it. Uh, Victoria was the first state where these things were pushed. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people were having health issues. You know, action groups were formed. And basically, the consensus is with m most people, they lock their meter box. Um, if somebody wants to read the meter, they'll come out and unlock it. Um, but you know, whatever you do, try and just tell them, go away. You know, and, and they kept going away until eventually they made this list that you were like a, a conscientious objector, you know, almost like vaccinations. <laughs> 